Hi everyone, this is Shelley from Healing Intentions. I wanted to discuss the new moon that is tonight, December the 13th, and I also wanted to discuss some of the shifting and the experiences that everybody seems to be going through right now with how it's affecting us physically. I've had a lot of people post questions to me or ask me questions about how we're all feeling like we have the flu or our heart rate is going fast or we feel like we're having a heart attack or our back really hurts. Basically what all of this is, is it's our heart deciding to open up. And what that actually means is that instead of being shut off or um, not being in the moment, it actually means that instead of trying to protect ourselves or not allow ourselves to get hurt, our heart has decided that for the shift, it now needs to open up. What this does for us is it actually gives us the ability for unconditional love and acceptance of ourselves, which then in turn gives us the ability to do what the new moon is asking us to do, which this is the last new moon of the year. Now, I am not an astrologer and I don't attest to know everything about any of this, but I do know that the stuff that I have studied or looked at today and the messages that I have been receiving is that we are shifting, we are changing. I have heard a lot about the words awakening. I think that that is a great word, but I also think that it has been used too much sometimes. I believe that we have all come to almost a crossroads with ourselves as to whether we want to stand in who we are, what we are, or what we want our lives to be. Now, this new moon is coming at a beautiful time because it's all about transformation. It's about shedding the old and stepping into the new. It's also... Um, letting us know that our potential is tremendous at anything that we set. Manifesting right now is occurring almost instantaneously, especially if you have the right energy and the right positive thoughts towards what it is that you truly desire. This is about what brings your heart joy. This is about standing and realizing that if where you are is not making you happy or you don't feel fulfilled or you feel lost, this is the time when you can actually start to find yourself again. Now, it is also, um, the word illumination comes to mind. I believe that we are starting to wake up to the fact that we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to worry about right or wrong. It just is or isn't. So if something isn't working for us, then we have the choice to change it or to stay stuck. This is about getting unstuck. This is about moving ourselves forward to where we are actually living our true lives and our true selves and understanding that the patterns that keep reoccurring or the fear and anxiety that we're having it's all because it's scary to step out of what's familiar it's scary to step out of what we know and it's scary to open ourselves up to being hurt we've all had bridges to cross this year we've all had repetitive lessons this year we've all had experiences that we wish we could change but instead of wishing for them to change Maybe we need to just sit quietly for a minute and understand that everything is for a reason and a purpose. Now, a lot of people hear this and a lot of people say, well, you know, I could have gone without it. Yes, but maybe the reason why we keep repeating patterns or why we keep having to experience something is because we didn't allow it to make us stronger, to teach us what we needed to know to be more of who we are. I think that's about the only way that I can explain that because if we look back on everything that we've ever done in our lives and understood that it has gotten us to where we are now and who we are, I think it was preparation for where we're supposed to be, which is being in ourselves, being our true selves. And we hear a lot of this stuff all the time and I know it sounds repetitive, but the whole entire point is, is it's repetitive because you're being asked to do it because it's where you're supposed to be. Um, I think what it is, too, is to realize that releasing the old that doesn't work for you doesn't make you any less. I think what it actually does is it allows you to become more. It allows you to become brighter, stronger, happier. And to know that unconditional love is deserving to all, not just to certain people and not just for certain reasons. Now, the new moon. I always tell everybody to do wishes. What do you want your life to be? How do you want your life to look? This one is really important because we're taking it into 2013. There's been a lot being said with yesterday being 12, 12, 12. And there's a lot being said with December 21st. Yes, I've seen all the postings about how it's going to be crazy to see all the stuff on December the 21st. 
and I can honestly say that I've been posting a little bit of stuff too on 12 12 12 but I think it's not only for me to make sure that I get the point of how important everything is but to also make sure that everybody understands that there's no time to waste now it's it's do it now or don't so I know that sounds like a pressure point but I think it's important for everybody to understand that we're being given the choice we're being given the chance to be more and to do more of what fills our heart with joy and that's the whole entire point of what we do I love being a light worker I love being able to help people but I also love working with others where they can help me and understanding that none of us are perfect that none of us know everything and sometimes we have to reach out and a lot of us don't we get stubborn and we decide we can do it on our own and that doesn't always work so 